What is billionaire Leon Cooperman saying about the stock market and the U.S. economy? How about Goldman and their call for $100 oil? How about five crazy housing predictions, five different cities uh, done by Redfin and Smart Asset, actually Smart Asset. And then what is Ken McElroy saying about the commercial real estate market, folks? Let's get into it. Let's first talk about the top five zip codes for price appreciation in 2024. Folks, if you want to look up this article, they actually did the top 10. I've only done the top five. It was put out by Smart Asset. Smart Asset has a uh, housing market prediction for 2024. Number five, Muskogon, Minnesota. 49442 is the zip code. Expectation is 8.6%. Winston, Winston, Salem, North Carolina. Zip code 27105. Expectation is 8.7%. Folks, these are expectations for price growth next year. North Miami, Florida, 33161. Expectation is for 8.8% growth. Knoxville, Tennessee. Shout out all the Tennessee investors. Uh, 37920, expectation is 9.5%. And then, fa uh, then the winner, the winner, Rio Grande City, Texas. I got to tell you, I don't know that I've ever heard of Rio Grande City, but that's okay. If you invest there, the expectation from Smart Asset is you will, uh, for zip code 78582, you will have 12.3% appreciation in 2024. Wow. Again, you can find the article is done by Smart Asset. Just look up Smart Asset 2024 housing market predictions. Pretty crazy. How about billionaire Leon Cooperman? Billionaire Leon Cooperman is warning of a couple of things. First and foremost, a recession is coming, to which I say, no duh. Recessions are a natural part of the business cycle. I do think what Leon is really saying is a recession is in the near term, right? Close, maybe early first half of 2024. It could be ignited by all kinds of things. And again, we are in a very stressed, multi-pronged economy worldwide, so absolutely correct. And most importantly, I think if you are a stock market investor, Leon Cooperman is saying no new highs for the stock market in a long time. This obviously is the opposite of what the great Tom Lee and even Dan Bird, our Sunday guests, is saying, because uh, again, both Tom and Dan are expecting new highs this year after a choppy September. So we're going to pay attention. We're going to see what's going on. I don't know. Leon Cooperman's pretty adamant. Uh, no new highs. Also, this is a big one. This one I had to double check. Leon Cooperman believes that 5% Fed funds is not restrictive. Think about that, not restrictive. So what does that mean? What is that code for? That means rates are going higher. I'll say that again. Leon Cooperman believes that five and a quarter Fed funds rate is not high enough. We are not restrictive. Wow, that is... Uh, that hurts. And again, of course, Leon Cooperman is pointing at GDP now, Atlanta Fed saying, you know, projecting a 5% plus GDP growth in Q3. So pretty crazy. Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs is out warning that we could have $100 oil in 2024. This will be a combination of demand exceeding expectation and of course, supply cuts, supply cuts. And of course, eventually the U.S., will have to refill the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. So yes, a $100 oil could be around the corner. How about RH, AKA Restoration Hardware? Restoration Hardware used to have the Buff Buffett put, but if you're not paying attention, Buffett sold out of his RH position, I think two quarters ago. Good for him. Restoration Hardware gave very weak guidance, cites high rates through Q2 of 2024. RH is expecting rates to be high for at least another nine or 10 months. This is impacting the luxury market. Folks, you and I have been talking about the entry level and luxury markets for quite a while. Again, if you wanna go shopping, 
you want a deal, you want to get creative, and you happen to be for, fortunate enough to shop in luxury, now is your time, and it's going to get really good this winter. Uh, how about Ken McElroy? Ken McElroy's put out a lot of great videos. Again, thanks, Ken, uh, Ken and Daniil, for interviewing me. Uh, it does look like they put the full interview on Spotify. Uh, they did an eight-minute clip on YouTube. I wish they would have put the full video on YouTube. I don't go to Spotify a lot. I want to listen to it again, but it's definitely his, his or their channel, so I understand they want to give you eight-minute on YouTube and the full one hour on Spotify. But back to what Ken McElroy's saying. Stay alive to 25. I actually think it's going to change to 26. With what we see going on with rents, and I actually have some numbers on rents in a minute, with cap rates and higher for longer, no rate cuts in 24, uh, it's, going to be, it's going to be tough. Again, Ken is saying rates are going to be high through 2024. I agree. You know that. LPs, money could be gone. Right? Ken is talking about all this bridge debt and cash in refis and all of that. The equity is gone. And we actually have something on a Chicago building I will talk about in the next daily financial news. It's pretty eye opening. What Ken is saying is coming next pensions and life insurance. Right? You got to remember these, these class A commercial office and class A multifamily, these were not owned by individuals usually. They were owned by insurance and mutual funds. And if they are taking these monster losses on equity, it, it's, uh, it will have ripple uh, impacts. And then finally, cities are entering doom loops where they are going to be forced to cut services, raise taxes. It's not a good look. How about, remember Signature? Remember Signature Bank? They went out right after SVB, Silicon Valley Bank. It was a New York bank. Um, they had lots of problems on their books. One of the things that they had was debt tied to stab uh, rent stabilized buildings. That debt is so toxic, nobody wants to buy it. The FDIC has a, has a set of loans that it took over from Signature Bank that it can't sell. So it is going to warehouse them. It's going to hold them on the books of the FDIC. Folks, that should send chills down your back. Kroger, Kroger, great, uh, big grocery store, uh, missed quarterly revenue. Get this, folks. Again, you got to look for signs. I think we're going to be below 3% inflation CPI headline, so we don't get it twisted. CPI headline will be below 3% by the end of the year. Kroger, inflation is cooling. Expects a tough consumer uh, environment for the next six to 12 months. But yes, Kroger is saying in the grocery store that inflation is cooling. Now, apartment rents. Apartment rents, nationally speaking, were up just a tick, 0 0.28. 0 0.28, that's about a quarter of a 1%. They were up 11% last year. Folks, this is called disinflation. You go from 11 to call it 1%, that's still inflation, right? 1% is inflation. But when you go from 11 to 1, that's called disinflation. Will we have deflation, meaning negative? I think the answer is yes. I think rents in multifamily is going negative and going negative very, very soon. That said, we have some cities where rents are up. We also have some cities where rents are down. I'll give you those in a minute. Where are rents up? Odessa, Texas, up 15%. Springfield, Massachusetts, up 9.9. And Madison, Madison, Wisconsin, up 9.1. But where is rents down? Uh, we'll go three to one. Number three, Las Vegas. Las Vegas, Nevada, down 4.7%. Phoenix, Arizona, down 4.9%. And Austin, Texas, down 4.9%. Again, economists are now wary that shelter costs could be reaccelerating. With higher rates, lower supply could push prices up. This is stuff that you and I have been talking about for a while. So folks, at the end of the day, remember, do the work. We don't gamble. It's tough out there. I'm looking at days on market over 30. Uh, you need to learn your buy box. If you really want to get started and change your future, 
Buy the course, How to Get Started One Rental at a Time. It's a measly 399 bucks. If you wanna test me out, you can do that for $47. $47, you will get a two hour deep dive on the buy box. If you do nothing else, get the buy box thing because that will help you focus, establish daily discipline and talk about tracking. So folks, take care. I wanted to show you another angle of my new office or studio. We obviously have the typical backdrop, but these are this is uh, some artwork from a wonderful artist named uh, Fonch Ladon. I love Fonch Ladon because he always does interior out, right? You may be in an environment that's not rosy, but if you look out, it's beautiful. That's how I look at his paintings. It makes me smile. Alrighty, folks, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.